problems and figure out some inequalities from the words in the problem. An exam here has multiple choice questions that are worth five points apiece, and it also has short answers that are worth 10 points apiece. A student needs to earn 140 points to receive an A for the course. Let X be the number of multiple choice questions she gets right, and let Y be the number of short answer questions she gets right. So let's put this together and make an inequality. So how many multiple choice questions did this young lady get right? Looks like it is X, right? Because it says X is the number of multiple choice questions that she got right. How much is each one of those questions worth? Well, also in blue, looks like that's five points per problem. So her total of points earned from the multiple choice section is going to be five times X. On the other hand, how many short answer questions did she get right? Well, that's Y. And how many points apiece are each one of those? Well, apparently that's 10. So the amount of points she would get from there would be 10Y. So altogether, she gets 5X from the multiple choice plus the 10Y that she gets from the short answer. But if she wants to receive her A, she has to have a minimum of 140. So she needs to be bigger than or equal to the number 140 in order to get her A on that test. So 5x plus 10y bigger than or equal to 140. Let's try again. A company sells skateboards for $40 and they sell bicycles for $120. For the company to stay in business they need to sell more than $4,000 this quarter. We're told to let X represent the number of skateboards, and we're told to let Y represent the number of bikes, and to find an equation, uh, an inequality, sorry. So, how many skateboards were sold? X. How much is each skateboard sold for? $40 per. So we're going to get 40X from there. Then in green, we have Y bicycles sold and they're sold for 120 a piece. So we get 120Y over there. How much money do we need? We need $4,000 to stay afloat. So how much money are we gonna have all together? We're gonna have the 40X plus the 120Y from all of our sales. Problem says that we need the sales to be more than the $4,000 for the quarter. So this would be the final inequality we would get from this word problem. So that's enough. Why don't you try one on your own here? Pause the video and see if you can work this one out. Okay. Assuming you gave it a shot here, watch me go through it the same way. Making a fridge in warehouse A requires two workers. Making a fridge in warehouse B requires four workers. The company determines that they can hire no more than 300 workers. We're going to let X be the number of workers at warehouse A and Y be the number hired at B. Okay, ready? Okay, how many workers were hired at A? So at network A, and let X be the number of workers hired at warehouse A, we have X many workers hired there and the number of workers hired at warehouse B is Y. The other information describes how long it takes to make a fridge or how many workers are needed to make a fridge. But notice that my question actually, I just caught this. This is an error on my part, but we caught it. I caught it as I read through and underlined carefully that it says that the company determines they can hire no more than 300 workers to fill the order. But we don't even have an order here. All we know is the number of workers. So X was the number of workers at A, Y is the number of workers at B, and we simply need those to not to be no more than 300. So from this problem, the inequality that we actually get is x plus y, which is the total number of workers, no more than 300, so it has to be less than or potentially equal to the number 300, and the 2 and the 4 were actually not irrelevant information to the problem. Wow, pretty cool.